A little bit of background on Metalcraft. Um, it's a 150 year, year old business, um, done lots of crazy things. Four years ago, the business had lost its way, it wasn't making any money. Um, like many SMEs in this sector, was really having a hard time. I joined the business at that period in time with a view to turning it around. Fundamental to that was the investment in the people. These businesses are all about people. From the guy that cleans the floor to the salesman that wins the contract. And my job is to get the very best out of those people. So we set on a journey four years ago to reinvigorate this business by investing in the training of the young people, by putting a program in place that meant every single employee could develop themselves, go on, learn new tricks. We invested in new plant and equipment. This latest state of the art equipment needs new skills, new expertise. We had an aging workforce. We've taken those people, we've trained and developed them to make them capable of being able to perform with this level of equipment right at the cutting edge of manufacturing. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come and see Metalcraft. We can put that straight for you. I started off as a fabricator welder and then after a period of time, uh, again with discussions with my line manager, there was an, an option to go into the radiography department in inspection. Uh, I took that opportunity which uh, required a certain amount of training, quite a lot of training you know, a couple of weeks course at um, IMEC E. And then since then I've done further training in dye penetrant inspection, visual inspection, uh, PMI analyzer, and sort of continued on then from more and more training with regards to my job. While I was doing my apprenticeship, I won uh, National Apprentice of the Year. Uh, I also won Regional Apprentice of the Year, the College's Apprentice of the Year, and Stainless Metal Crafts Apprentice of the Year in, that, in the one year which is obviously a massive achievement for myself. Um, and while it would have been possible without sort of the support of my line manager and the support of Metalcraft in achieving that. I believe the training, the amount of training being offered to, to staff, um, you know, in, in the last, certainly the last three or four years is, is, is massive. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity there for people here now, where perhaps there wasn't before. You know, it's, it is growing, it's a growing company, there's a bright future here. Um, and you know, I think people are, are taking advantage of that. We're very proud of what's been achieved in four years here at Metalcraft and we see winning this award as a platform for us to be able to shout from the, from the hilltops to other SMEs that this can be done. It's all about investing in the people, putting the right programs in place, using that to convince your customers that you're a business that's going places, that you've got the right skills and expertise to deliver their requirements all of those things, we would like to be able to share that with a wider SME community. People talk a lot about apprentices. Well, for one, we've put an apprentice academy in place and we've employed 10 apprentices a year. But that's really only the tip of the iceberg. You know, the, we employ 150 people in this business and it's about providing training and expertise and opportunities for the wider audience of people, including some of our subcontractors and other local companies where we've made investments in facilities. We've opened our training school of a weekend for all of our employees to go and enjoy and use the same equipment that we use for the apprentices. We've put in place a rewards mechanism so those people that learn new skills can get paid more money. Four years ago this business had a six million pound forward order book. Today it's got a hundred million pound forward order book and it's profitable and it's growing fast.